Should lawmakers and the public strengthen Indiana's ban on gay marriage by writing it into the state constitution, or should we move on to other issues, potentially leaving same-sex marriage one court ruling away from being legal in Indiana? As the debate at the State House rages on this week, we are spending the next three nights taking an in-depth look at the conflicting views on this controversial topic. Tonight, we sit down with two couples who say Indiana will be a better place if it lets gay people wed. I hate to think that we should have to move in order to get treated like everyone else. Cody Tinnell and Corey Allen are the types of young professionals local leaders want to keep in Fort Wayne. Both are 25, college educated, and have good jobs. Cody works as assistant director of admissions at IPFW. Corey is the operations director at a local real estate firm. The rub? They've been together as a couple for five years, and they'd like to get married. That is kind of one of those factors in the back of your head where if you could go somewhere else and be treated fairly, I mean, it, it weighs on your mind. They want marriage for some of the protections it would offer. Our house, like if I were to die, it goes to my parents rather, and a marriage it would go mm -hmm. to the surviving spouse. Like there's just all these little legalities that catch you up that are expensive to fix and time consuming and that a married couple wouldn't have to worry about. As Indiana's debate over same-sex marriage continues, Cody and Corey say it's not about special rights for different people, it's about equality under the law. That we have the you know, same responsibilities and protections that a, a, a straight married can, couple can get. Jeannie DiClemente and Mary Ross already are married in the eyes of California's government and those of several other states, but they live here in Fort Wayne in a state that does not legally recognize their union. We're a family. Our kids know we're a family. This couple of almost 25 years has been a trailblazer in the gay rights movement. More than two decades ago in Denver, Colorado, Mary, helping Jeannie through a medical crisis, became the first known person formally awarded sick leave pay in order to care for a same-sex partner, opening minds during a long legal battle. The judge was appalled that you could take earned sick leave to go care for your mother-in-law in Passaic, New Jersey, whom you don't even like, but yet... <laughs> We couldn't. I mean, that he said that in court. And in 2007, Mary and Jeannie became the first gay couple to adopt under a new Colorado law. Their daughters, Morgan and Evan, are now in fourth and second grades. Hold on a minute. Come on, take care of that minute. Like Cody and Corey, Jeannie and Mary are responsible, valuable contributors to our community. Jeannie teaches psychology at IPFW. Mary is employed with the IU School of Social Work out of Fort Wayne. They pay taxes, and they're providing their daughters with a stable home after rest rescuing them from an abusive situation. But they are also unsure about staying in Indiana long term if the state constitutionally bans gay marriage. We want our life to continue here. Um, what would happen to us is if that passed and if it doesn't go anywhere is forcing us to look at is this a place where we're safe, where our children are safe. Tomorrow, a look at the other side of this debate. We will talk to traditionalists who oppose gay marriage. Then on Wednesday, each side answers arguments and objections from the other.